Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this morning for a album review. And I'm sorry I didn't get to do the track review that I was supposed to do last night. I just uh, got really busy. Or yesterday I was supposed to do it and I completely forgot to. So I apologize for that. But this album review is for Evanescence Fallen. That I just got done listening to. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, this was their debut studio album, but I gotta say, this album was awesome. It was really awesome. I really enjoyed uh, Going Under. That was a really awesome song. Um... There were times where it felt like it got repetitive with how Amy Lee was singing it and how the melody was playing out for Going Under, but for the most part, it wasn't that bad. I did not hate it. Um, Bring Me to Life's one of my favorites with featuring Paul McCoy. I'm looking at it on my spiral notebook because I wrote it down. Um... And you have Everybody's Fool, which is a pretty catchy one. I gotta say, the one, sh two tracks on this album that are ballads, but are very depressive and very sad, are My Immortal and Hello. And also the My Immortal band version, too. Uh, the bonus track. So, yeah. Those were pretty sad songs, <laughs> I, it almost put me to tears <laughs> for a moment, and I'm like, oh crap, this is like sad, but it still was good. I really enjoyed those songs. The only one that I had a problem with was Haunted. Haunted was not too bad. Haunted, I meant to say. If I, if it sounds like I said hunted, I'm really sorry. It, my voice is just... I'm like saying the pronouncing the word wrong or whatever. <laughs> um, tourniquet is I remember hearing that song, uh, but it's I heard it from my sister's playlist or whatever, uh, which was interesting. Uh, but no, not too bad of a song. It it really was enjoyable. Uh, Imaginary was pretty good. Uh, Amy Lee's vocals in this whole album is so angelic and really awesome. Even when you have the guitars and the drum work in most of this album, it does an outstanding job. This album is not disappointing. It's really awesome. Um, Taking Over Me was pretty interesting, but Hello was one of my favorites. Uh, it's a ballad, but it's pretty sad. I already mentioned it, but for most of it, most of the song, like the first ver verse, the first chorus, then the second verse, and the second chorus, they tend to get very low with her voice. It tends to get very low with Amy Lee's voice, but then she raises it up like she's really trying to sing, and I think she really is. Uh in the hello where she uses a falsetto voice and when she's like hello da 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 or whatever <clears throat> and uh sorry my throat got very scratchy for a moment um but it was really nice how it was sounding the whole song and i like the piano in that song even in my immortal too the piano's really nice. Um, My Last Breath. I think I remember that song. I remember my sister playing this album one time. Uh, on her phone. And I was like, this album's actually pretty good. I think she was having an effinescence phase or whatever at the time. <laughs> Which she still likes them, but she listens to other music now. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, um, My Last Breath was really good. Then you have Whisper, which is the final track if you don't count the bonus track. But I'm going to call it the second to last track. It's actually, it's one of the longest songs on the album. But it's actually really good. And then My Immortal Band Version was actually not a bad way to close the album. Officially to close the album. Because it's a hidden track, but it's a bonus track on the album. So I guess it's on the CD version. I'm not sure. I don't own the CD, but I do plan on getting it for sure. Because I really like this album. Uh, overall, uh, Evanescence Fallen, the album, was really awesome. I really enjoyed it. Um, I definitely see myself returning to this a lot. I do plan on purchasing it probably next year. I gotta see where I'm at with money. Uh, just money's tight right now, so I haven't been able to buy any albums because I've been buying groceries and all that stuff lately just for the house and food and other things too paying bills too but overall i think out of 10 i'm gonna give evanescence fallen a 9.5 out of 10 this was really awesome i really enjoyed it and yeah i highly recommend you guys check this out if you haven't listen to Evanescence. I know a lot of people have because they're pretty popular. I think their first album was good. I have to listen to the second album, which I will be reviewing that on Saturday, unfortunately, because I'm going to be busy with doing uh, new album reviews and an EP review for Hailstorm. Uh, which I'll discuss about what EP I'll be reviewing of theirs that does come out this Friday. But definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Evanescence album Fallen if you've heard it. And if you like this album review that I just made for you guys, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for Disciple Game On track review. I think I'm going to do it today. I don't know for sure. If I don't do it today, the latest I could do it is probably Sunday. Uh, I don't know for sure. But I'll let you guys know when I decide to do it. I may have time to do it today because it said something about it's supposed to rain where I'm at. Which I'm like, damn it, I really need to work. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, and I'll also return to you for Hailstorm Reimagined Extended Play, which will be released on Friday. The EP will be released on Friday. I'll probably do the review tomorrow or something like that and poppies i disagree more uh review is gonna be on uh thursday as well uh i probably will find the deluxe edition for it like tomorrow or the next day it depends on when i find it but it comes with like four extra tracks so i'm like uh and they're pretty short, so it's only going to be 10 extra minutes of an album. So I'm like, damn, that's pretty short. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this uh, album review I made for Evanescence Fallen, if you liked it. Definitely stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.